Okay, another teaching technique that highlights the text. There are seven, are, are you doing okay? See, I love this so much, but you hear you sit, you know, you're used to what? Two hour classes, how long are your classes here? Three, that's pretty amazing. Th three hours at a stretch? Every day. So it's not like today, six at a day. Okay. Because I dumped an awful lot of stuff on you today. You realize that. But there aren't any quizzes, so that's okay. There are seven techniques that rabbis use to this day to interpret scripture. I see Jesus using five of them. I just want to show you one. And this to me is so incredibly humbling. It's called remez. The word remez means a hint or a clue. It's just a modern Hebrew word too, remez. Give me a hint. Remez, and nachnu remez. Give me a hint. The idea is, I assume you know the text so well that I give you a hint by a phrase taken out of the text and you know what the text says before and after and you get my point without my having to make the point. Um, how do I illustrate this? I was at a banquet for an old Jewish scholar from Oxford and he had spent his life's work, he, he was Jewish, converted to Christianity, then converted back to Judaism. He spent his life's work trying to show that the Dead Sea Scrolls affirm the fact the Bible is the Word of God. Godly old man, not a believer in Jesus, but a godly old man. He had a student who got his PhD with Gaze of Hermas at Oxford, whose life's work has been to show that the Bible probably isn't trustworthy. And that must pain the old man greatly. It was his retirement, or they put a banquet on for him at Yeshiva for his retirement. He came over from Oxford, gave a speech, they presented him with books and, you know, all that stuff. And then they had a dinner. Well, it was for like 3,000 people, so almost anybody could come. But, so I'm sitting in the back. After dinner, they did questions and answers. Somebody said to Dr. Vermis, what do you think of the work of your student? And it was totally silent because this old man loves the text so much. And everybody knew what his student had been doing. He thought, stroked his beard. And then Dr. Vermis said, Banim gadolti varomamti vahem pashubi. Now it took me a while. First, in English, I raised sons and daughters and brought them up. But I knew I missed something because the stunned silence in that room was deafening. What's the next verse? One at a time, please. Pardon? You're awesome. This is a man of the text. I raised sons and daughters and brought them up. And when they were old, they departed from Almighty God. Now, do you understand what he just said about his student? But he didn't say it. He let you go there. Now, I don't know how Zach knew that, whether he's that expert on Isaiah, because that's Isaiah 2. Maybe, I give him credit. But if your mind didn't immediately go there, mine wouldn't have, then you don't know the text well enough to play the rabbi's game. Jesus uses this over and over and over and over again. Let me show you. He's in the temple after the triumphal entry. The kids are dancing, probably because their parents didn't have the guts to anymore. The little kids are dancing around going, Hoshana, 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 Hoshana. Save us, save us, save us. The Sadducees came to Jesus and said, Tell these kids to be quiet. Isn't that polite? And Jesus said, Haven't you read the scriptures? Which to a Jew, <laughs> Out of the mouth of babies. Let's see, I got the NIV. From the lips of children and infants, You have caused praise. And it says, And they wanted to kill him. For what? Does that seem a capital crime? What's the verse before? One at a time. People from my soul, you know what I think of you. If you can't go there, you will never catch some of the nuances of Jesus' teaching. He assumed you can go there. And not only that, 
his audience, including the Sadducees, knew the text. I'll paraphrase. The leaders of my people have become my enemies, declares the Lord. I will destroy them, and from the lips of children and infants, I'll bring praise. You understand why the Sadducees wanted to kill him? What did he just call them? God's enemies. They didn't say that. People, the New Testament is full of this. 